we should be, you know how the game turned like that the taste, turnaround was crazy. That taste of winning is not is not in your mouth. You guys don't know what it tastes like. What's up, you guys? It's the St. Brown Brothers with the 33rd team. Here to talk football, life, and much more. Shoot, let's start off with you, EQ. Out week, what is this? Week 16 it was. You were out, ruled out with a concussion. Yeah. I didn't even know you were gonna play until I think uh what like three days before I think mama told me. What, what like what is it like uh not playing i heard it, someone on my team said if you're out you can't be on the sideline yeah that's what it, i didn't know that because um it's been a minute since i had a concussion and been through the protocol but yeah when i told him what am i doing for the game they're like no you can't come to the game I'm like what do you mean you can't go to the game he's like yeah you can't be on the sideline now i'm like in my head I'm like well i got tickets for the game so me my me and mama went and i was in the stands this is my first time ever being in the stands at a game um ever NFL game. So it was like, it was so cold. So I was only there for the first quarter and like, couldn't feel my hands and shit. My toes started getting cold. So I went down to the family room and watched it on TV there. Just waited for the team to come in after the game. But um, yeah, it was cool to watch it from the stands. You know, I never felt that even though it was like half empty because it was so cold. Um, it was cool to actually have my first like NFL fan experience. What was the, uh, what was the temperature? Like I heard, heard it was the coldest if, NFL like weekend ever. It... <sighs> I don't know how I remember, I don't remember how cold it was. It was like negative ten or negative nine, but it felt like negative twenty five with the windshield. Like the wind was blowing. At one point, the Bills sideline, the whole sideline, like the whole jackets blew like halfway in the not halfway in the field, but like close to the sideline, and like they had to like panic and pick everything up. But, was like, um you, it, you always saw cups flying on the field and shit. Did it affect the game, like throwing the ball? Because I saw. Yeah, you could definitely tell. Like, and I asked them afterwards um, in the locker room. Like, they're like, "Yeah, in pregame warmups, like the ball will come at you." And then right when it gets to you, it would either drop or go left and right. Like, and I had to win the game in uh, in Soldier Field before too. Like, the ball moves. Like, I vividly remember seeing the ball come on a low cross. I was like, had my hands up, and the last second I had to fucking catch on my body because it dropped at the last second. So, you could see like how the ball, how the game went. It was a, it was a, we could run the ball better Damn, that's crazy. because of the conditions. So it was tough. Yeah. Well, what happened, to you guys, um, down there in? In the Carolinas, yeah. uh, shoot, it was a, it's a Panthers tough game. They, they had a good game game plan, but dude, going out of the field, but it was fro. I don't think it's ever been that cold in Carolina. Someone's like some of the players said they've never. It's not that cold in Carolina. So we went out for warm ups. The, the turf was frozen. Like we we're doing. Really, what, what was the temperature? Uh, they said before, the whole week before it's gonna be thirty eight. It's gonna be a good day. We get out there. It's like ten degrees. Feels like wow. I don't know. I think two or something, something crazy. So we get out mm-hmm. there and try and run routes. We can't even run pre pregame routes. Like everyone's slipping or it came in like really j- cut how you want. It's the whole turf is frozen. So that was warm ups. We get out. They said it should be better later because the sun's going to hit it, uh, hit the turf and, and melt it a little. So then we got out in the game and it, was, it got better, but it was still like the first two quarters. Um, the turf was just hard as shit. Like I remember watching some dudes slip in the game. I had like a, out return i was like this is gonna be so hard to run um but no nah, it was they had a good uh the run game was crazy I mean, we couldn't stop them i knew that first drive they had they ran like first play boom hit us second play hit us um and then we went down we scored um and then we stopped him was going down to score again and we fumbled it and then from there man we just went downhill um but they had a good game plan good team definitely you know it makes you I feel like for us, we won. We were winning so many games for that short period of time. You you come back to life and realize like anyone in this league can beat you at any time. So kind of kind of humbling yeah. for us, but shoot, we still have a shot at the playoffs, which is which is nice. Um, we got to keep. You broke a thousand yards. How's that feel? You broke one k. Yeah, it feels good. You know, I was in the middle of the game. I remember. I think I needed like twenty eight yards, and Khalif was Khalif Raymond, one of my teammates. He's like, when you hit it, I'm I'm just gonna come up and hug you. So I, I caught my first ball, um, I think it was like 12 yards, and caught another ball, a little over route, probably for like 15. And I don't know if – I didn't know if I hit it yet, and I don't think he was sure either. And I caught another one, like a screen for like 12 yards, and then that's when he came up to me and gave me a hug and said congrats. But I was so locked in the game that I wasn't even – I wasn't even yeah, thinking, yeah, about, I wasn't it. thinking about it. Uh, I just wanted to, you know, win the game. But I was, you know, I was upset we didn't win, but it is what it is. Yeah, so the uh, Pro Bowl selection came out, and um, I think you should have made it, but you didn't. Um, how do you feel about that? Honestly, you know, I wouldn't. 
I wanted to make it. Uh, if I'm being honest, I was, you know, excited for it to come out and see where who made it, who didn't make it, and I, you know, I wanted to be in the Pro Bowl. Uh, it's definitely, you know, one of my goals this year. But you know, the guys that that they picked in front, uh, good receivers. I can't complain. Shoot, Justin Jefferson having, you know, one of the best years a wide I can have. I feel like he's, you know, going into history right now. I think he just broke Randy Moss's record. Um, he's looking to break Calvin's record all time. So. He's definitely, definitely deserving. Um, C.D. Lamb's been balling. Um, A.J. Brown, shoot, you can't knock the Eagles. They're probably, some people might say, the best team in football right now. He's been balling out. He balled out against us. Um, and then Terry McLaurin, I always loved his game. Uh, I think he was been a super underrated receiver the last, you know, last couple of years, but he's definitely, definitely a beast. Um, so, you know, I can't complain with the guys in front of me. They're all ballers, but I definitely, you know, for me personally, I wanted to make it, but you know, there's always next year, always, always more, more chance to improve and, and more, more stuff to do. So I'm not, you know, I'm not too disappointed. Uh, I like that. Answer. Pretty humble answer. I like that. You hear about, uh, you hear about JJ Watt retiring? Yeah. Um, I saw that today on my social media. I seen him, everyone's reposting it, which is, which is crazy, but not so crazy because he's been in the league for so long and I know he's been hurt for, he's been, you know, fighting injuries in his last half of the, or the end of his career. And, um, I just, yeah, I just I just kind of forgot about it. Like, and it just caught me off guard. I'm like, damn, he's retiring. And he posted like a picture with his son or daughter. I don't know what it was. His kid is saying like his for his or her first game and my last game, which is crazy, you know. Bro, when he um, was remember his prime. We were just talking about yeah, the, you know, yeah, Texans. I remember he was you know playing receiver, catching touchdowns, you know, interceptions. Like he was the, he was was the Aaron crazy. Donald of like when I was younger. He was, he was, Literally, he was. I remember. Unstoppable. I remember some of the coaches were telling me on my team. Like he's he would disrupt your whole game plan. Like if you have yeah, nine nine, like chip him, yeah. Slide the text every time. Everything is yeah. shocked if he if he's on the field. That's crazy. Yeah, he won like defensive player like three times. I want to say this is crazy. You know, he's like he's like Aaron Donald type caliber, right. but you know his brother. In the past. His brother's dude stepping in his footsteps right now. He is. He is. He which is. is crazy. They're both balling. Um, bowl games, bowl games, bowl games. Notre Dame. Who do you guys play? Uh, we play South Carolina in the Gator Bowl. The Gator Bowl. What's that? Like, I never heard of that. It sounds like a... That's, that's, that's a, it's a solid bowl. Um, you know, it's it's not one of the New Year's Six, but solid bowl. You know, we you, lost a few Do games. you know where the Gator Bowl is? It's a, it's a little it's a little rebuild year for us. Um, it's in Florida. Uh, in where? Florida. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you know anyone that's played the Gator Bowl? Like, it sounds like a... Um, a regular bowl game, just a a TV, you know, make money bowl game. I don't know, but um, you know, it's we lost a few games. We only play for playoffs. We don't have a championship, a, a fucking conference championship. We don't have that. You know, all we do is play for playoffs. We didn't make it this year. We fell short, so we're playing the Gator Bowl. You guys fell short too. We're, you guys are playing the, what the Cotton Bowl? Bowl, New Year's Six. We, who, who you guys playing? Tulane. That's, that's a good. We opponent. can't. You know, we you don't know? choose who's in it. That, that's a good we, opponent. Shout out to my my man Mooney. We, we don't choose who's um, in it. Mooney. Uh, we're gonna destroy you guys. I'm sorry. We got pressure. Uh, we got Heisman yeah. coming back, ready. That's a that's a that's a great program, is it not? You guys are playing. That's a great program. It's a great game. I'm happy is, for you guys. Are you trying to say Tulane is not a good team? I just, well, I said it's a great listen, program. They're ranked 16th. You guys are 21st. They'll probably beat you guys. I, like I said, they're a great program. Okay. I'm happy for, I'm happy for you guys. It'll be a fun game for the for the Cotton Bowl game. That's gonna be first bowl game under Lincoln Riley. Like, come on. How about this? Don't, compare, don't, how about this? How about this? Don't line. lose that game. Don't lose that oh, game. Not, That's not be worried. a bad look. That's what you said against Utah. I can't complain. As an alumni, former player, I can't complain. First year under new head coach, going to yeah. New Year's Six Bowl. Come on, what do you think we're going to do next year? And then we're going to go to. The, you should. Compl- and then we're going to go to the my Big thing Ten. Is, my thing is, you already forgot of how you guys should be in the playoffs, and you guys are not. And you're happy about being in the Cotton Bowl. No, That's, we're not. Trust, we're not happy. We want to be in the playoffs. No, no, no. You're you're excited to be alumni. Oh, we're in the Cotton Bowl. See, I'm just as a Notre Dame alumni, we're look, only happy to I'm make ha- playoffs. First That's year it. head coach. That's all, That's all we play for. You got first year head coach too, right? Yeah, you know, we are our first year coach. Yeah. Did better than your mm-hmm. first year coach. Barely. What do you mean barely? What was your record? I don't know. We lost like four okay. games. We lost. Two, we lost lose. two games. Okay, yeah, barely. That's my we point. Whooped on y'all, which which matters. Barely better. Barely better. On you guys. Barely better. Barely better. Anyways, uh, you guys had the Heisman winning quarterback on your team. Like, come on, you guys should be in the playoffs. Like, was her? Did you watch the game? I did. I had money on the game. Thir- thirteen. We call him thirteen. Thirteen got hurt in the middle of the game. Yeah. Hamstring, ah, battling through it. You know, it's tough. We'll, we'll stop playing I mean, the game. We'll he, take that. He, he wasn't. He wasn't hurt the first time you guys played him. 
And you guys yeah, you watched. You were actually watching that game with me. You saw. I was. You saw yeah. the refs on tip. Bro, you, no, refs no, were on no, tip no, all game. No, no, no. Uh, look. Now let's talk about real football, playoff football here. Yeah, PC, PC Michigan, Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia. I got. We got. Shoot, I'm playing in Michigan. I gotta go for Michigan. Um, I haven't watched too much of TCU football. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I've watched a few games in Michigan just because they put it on um, in our facility when, like, Saturdays or whatever Saturday nights. I watched it because Aiden. Yeah, because of him. Or they were the Big Ten championship. Watched some of that. So I haven't watched too much, but I know Michigan's a solid football team. I don't know how good TCU is. I know the quarterback is pretty good, um, but I got Michigan. I got to go with the kind of the home team. Um, but Ohio State, Georgia, well, I got I got Georgia by a landslide. Really, I I do think Michigan and Georgia are going to win, but I don't think the the Georgia is going to blow out Ohio State. I just I can't see Ohio State getting blown out. There's I feel like to me they always have so many star players, so many athletes. It's just like it's hard to beat them, you know. Like you have you watched program. Georgia play? I've watched them play against Tennessee. Yeah, they blew them out. They they yeah, Georgia's good. Bro, their front their front seven is nasty. when it comes to playoff like their defense, you know, on, every team is like locked in, you know, preparing for weeks. So like we'll see. It's gonna be a lot down. It's gonna come down to coaching too, you know. Every team has good players on both sides. But we'll see. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a good game. Uh but my final I think it's gonna be I don't know. I think I got Michigan, Georgia at SoFi. Is that where it's yeah, at? Back back in LA. That's that's, um, that's that's my championship game. You probably got who Michigan. Who do you have? Michigan, Georgia. Michigan, too. Georgia. Right, yeah, I don't know. How, like, like just like you. I don't, I don't know, know if Georgia's TCU gonna go back to back though. That's tough to do. I don't know how good TCU is this year. Like, I know they're they're good, but I haven't watched any games. Like you said, I haven't watched anything. So that's tough. But yeah, and it's and gonna be interesting wild card. Talk about your playoff hopes. You have to win out, and um, be a tough. Two games for you guys, you know, against the Bears and then against the Packers, you know, NFC rivals. We're going to try to spoil your shit so bad. Like, this is all we're playing hey, for. Hey, we hey. have two more games left. We have two more games left. You guys. And, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say it, bro. Hey, you think it's, you guys beat us by one point last time. You think it's like. At your, at your game, crib. Like, and we've gotten better. Doesn't matter. Listen, we've gotten better since. Listen. You guys won by one point, you, and the game, the, and the way the game turned around, we should have won the game. Question. You were at the game. You, you, we, you were at the game. We should have won. When's the last time you guys won? You know game. that. In a minute, but that's not the point. The point is, we should have won that you game. You still haven't won a game since we beat you guys. You haven't won a game. No. Okay. The thing is, we should. You know how the game turned like that. Taste, turnaround was crazy. That taste of winning is not. It's not in your mouth. You guys don't know what it tastes like. But you guys are numb. Listen, the you're, taste of losing is your mind. Like, you're numb on, to like, losing. It's it's a it's I, a. Trust me, I know you guys are feeling. Three. You know the feeling from last year. Three wins in with two games <laughs> left. You know we, the feeling we from had last year. Two wins at, at this point yeah. in the season last year. You have three, yeah. bro. I'm t- you guys, I already know you guys. You guys are looking at off season, looking ahead. You know, we can't. We oh just, no, we're not. No one, no, no, no we one's just doing that. Finish these last no two games. Doing, Come on, guys. No one's doing that. No oh, one's doing bro. that. No I, one's I know how that goes. We're, we're coming in fucking Ford Field to whoop that ass. We, I we got you. playoffs on the line. I promise you. I promise we, you. Our fans, you, you haven't. I, I promise you, you haven't seen Ford Field. You. I know you play with the Packers. You've been to Ford Field. You haven't seen yeah. Ford Field like this. Let me tell bro, you this. In practice this week. Make bro. sure. I don't know if you guys use the the loud stuff at, on third third down days. Make sure you turn that shit up. Bro, yeah, like the You're noise, not like hear a damn game. Thing. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't You're matter. Not it, hear doesn't a matter. Damn thing. it doesn't matter. Eminem's gonna, gonna come and scream. Hey, wait. I have a question. Nice I have a question. You think you should have beat us last week? The last time? Feet. And the whole the whole you crowd. Like, <sighs> How'd you guys win that game last time? You, you guys tell got me. so lucky. You guys got so Jeff, lucky. Uh, I'm the same. Pick I'm the six. Same. I'm a former quarterback. So uh, uh, you guys so on, lucky. Bro. Watch. I'm just saying. We got, we got hitters. You're you gonna feel us. And if you win out, you still need someone to lose, huh? Yeah, we need the well Giants, I think if they win one more game, they're in. Commanders. So it's really not. It's really not in your hands like we need that. The commanders you guys don't lose one game, and then if they lose one and we went out, we're in. If the yeah, Seahawks, so your 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 playoff hopes are in the commanders' hands, basically. We still have to win, though. They have you by the yeah. They have you by the ball. We still have to win. If you win and they win and Giants win, it's over. The commanders' remaining schedule: Browns and Cowboys. Yeah. Browns are Browns are no slouch. 
Cowboys already in. They might not play their starters depending on what their situation is yeah, like. I don't know that situation. But Giants are playing the Colts. Listen, all we can do is control what we can control. Mm. One game at a time. Mm, 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 and I have to say, mm, the, bear, mm, the, bear, mm. the Bears are up next. We All we have to look forward to is to beat you guys. That's all we have to look forward to. You guys have playoffs and shit. All, we, all we're all trying to do is beat you guys. and What's, the, re- so what's the recipe, to, what's the recipe to, be, to beat us? Oh, it's not hard. Fucking run the ball in your ass. You guys can't stop the run. We saw the tape of the fucking <laughs> Panthers. <laughs> run the ball down your guys' throats. Like, and then... So, so all we have to do is stop the run. And the, no, and the best thing is, too, there's going to be no elements. Oh, we, we get throw the ball. Like, we're so used to, we, we've been playing the elements. Like, it's, we had the game plan around the elements for the last three weeks. Like, it's been tough, you know? Like, windy, cold, like, turf, indoors, what? Playbook's open. It's going to be tough for you guys. Your defense has been flying around. I haven't seen you guys get some picks lately. It's, it's gonna be, yeah, it's going to be tough for you guys, man. Let me just say that. Well, you want to hear my score prediction? <sighs> Don't no, care. Yeah. It's not going to be accurate. We'll, we'll, sa- it's not gonna be accurate. we'll save this for a later date. Like I said, you better be able to put 40 up on us. Oh, our offense, we can. You, if you're not put, last time I said you got to put 30 up, you guys put 30 up on us. But this week, you have to put 40 up on us. I promise you. You're going to put that many points up on us. You think you're going to put 40, 40 points on us? 40, 40 Stop points. Stop it, bro. All right. All right. You, you haven't watched I'm the same. Last week was, last time was accurate. This week, Cut the tape. Too. So as long as we hold you to 40 or under, we're going to win. What I have last game against you guys, 119. Damn, I gotta see what I can do this week. Mm. I need, I need more. It's about, it's about getting the zone. You know, you guys need points. You can't you're not gonna rely on your defense this time? Watch. We're, Listen, we're gonna protect we, that ball. We could have said that last game too. And what happened? I'm literally on the sideline chilling. I look up. Oh shit! Go Jeff. Change the game. Game changer. Like it, yeah, it can happen game. like last this. Game. Like you never know what happens. What I'm saying is, uh, that was last game. This game that won't happen. It's gonna be us on the sideline. Like, oh shit, Kyler, fuck. <laughs> You know, three pick. I don't know how even fucking ball hawking that <laughs> shit recently. O D. Uh, yeah. All right, you guys. That's it with the thirty third. <laughs> you guys put. You have to put these uh, these uh, <laughs> bloopers in there. <laughs> you gotta put the bloopers in there. Oh, you do. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. All right, guys. That's it with the Saint Brown brothers and the thirty third team. We're out. We'll see you guys next week.